because they are they have very high energy. The emotion that they put behind the lyrics got me at first, but also uh, the energy, like you can tell the emotion from the guitar and the bass. They start out more as pop punk and then they grew with four brain to more alternative stuff and it just like it showed their aging and just their like their well dead and the brothers' mentalities like just changing and growing up over time. I guess if you take hardcore stuff like um, Black Flag, Minor Threat, and you mix that with sort of uh, pop punk kind of um, ideas. It's, it's great for people to like get into, like you can show them at any point and they're guaranteed, they're guaranteed to at least like relate to a couple of songs. Some of the songs, I don't even have to know what they're about. They just kind of like, they're one of those bands that like I listen to them and I just, I kind of give them my own meaning and I can really like feel a lot of emotions with their music. We started the band like we said we were 13 years old. We're not 13 years old anymore. We don't want to write songs like we were when we were 13. So it's, in some regard, it's natural. You know, we're just growing up. We're writing songs differently. Hopefully, more maturely. Um, maybe not, but who knows? Who cares? Death and funerals and, and sad stuff are a, a pretty big theme through our through my lyrics at least, and, and uh, it sucks. I hate that that's a theme. I wish it didn't have to be, but it seems that you know every year I end up at another funeral. So uh, that's my way of dealing with things and, and figuring out how I could still be doing this when you know the people that I, I love the most are you know not here anymore. I, I love you know. Continuity through a record, I love you know thematic things going on, but at the same time, there is a I think the continuity and you know the themes through the music is is that there is none, you know, and it's just, it's just people writing music that they want to hear and that they want to play. I just kind of owe it to myself to really to get these things off my chest. And when somebody comes up to you and says, "Hey, that that really means a lot to me," I felt the same way that you know that that makes me feel like I'm doing something with my life rather than just you know sitting in a van for 12 hours a day and and eating McDonald's every day. Over time, I've, I've really tried to, to push myself to really kind of, you know, be uncomfortably open with things, and uh, I think it, you can kind of see it through the record. I'm still learning from 
things and trying new things and, and uh, I just hope that they work and I hope that I don't sound like a, an idiot. That's really all I, I try and do is not sound like an idiot. Uh -huh.